I had just returned from my trip to the cabin where my client had attempted to kill me. Still pondering over why he had attempted to kill me, though I had reached a conclusion that it must be related to an old case. So I decided to call up my old buddy. And upon the door, I hear a knock. I call out for this mysterious stranger to enter. Old buddy of mine, long time no see. And who is it? But the ex-British explorer and my ex-partner. Good to see you, mate. How have you been doing? You gave me a ring. You sounded panicked. I answer all his questions with the normal formality. But inside my head, I'm starting to notice a couple similarities between him and the man who tried to kill me. You used to have tons of bourbon in his office. I, I quietly inform him that I drink it all already. Well, you're funny, man. <laughs> so why do you call me? You sound panicked off the phone. You know that? I slowly reach into my pocket and grab my gun, yeah. sawed a gun out. So what do you talk about old cases? You said something about old cases? I informed him of the situation about someone trying to kill me. Well, who would kill you? You're the nicest guy I ever know. I informed him that that's what I was hoping he could tell me. I don't know if I can help you, mate. It's just probably something you got to solve on your own. Maybe an ex-lover, ex-parent who hates you. The, you know, that weird guy down the river. I informed him that I have no the idea. The only thing I know is there's this mysterious man called the Collector who's been running around the ponds in uh, England. Sus you know, in Sussex area. Cardiff. He's been running around. I, I say that perhaps it might be this Collector. Perhaps I know something that he wants or that he doesn't want people to know. Uh, I don't know that, mate. I informed him that I have no idea myself. Well, I hope he can help you, but according to I won't be around to that probably and neither will you. All things must come to an end, apparently, you know, mate. The speech pattern of his has changed some. Uh, I decided to question him about what's changed about him. Because I don't want to do it. You're a good friend of mine. I ask him what he doesn't want to do. I don't want to kill you. I had to try to kill you at the cabin, and I couldn't. He didn't even know it's my dialect. My face reflects shock as I hear the words uttered from his mouth. You are my friend, but now I have to. I ask him why. Because he wants me to. I ask him who. The Collector. He told me my family hostage, that part was true. He's just taking me. I just glare at him. You don't believe me. We've been friends for how long, and you don't believe me. We're friends, and yet you don't believe your friend. I ask him if friends would truly try to kill each other. When their family is alive, they would. They would. You I understand? Told, I, I tell him, poppy talk. No, you don't know how hard it is for me. All those memories we have. You know what? It has to happen quick. Ah! I shoot him once more with my sonic gun, hoping that this time it might actually kill him. Nothing will kill me. Nothing I will shoot him not. again. Ah! Ah! Ah, ah, you got me, <laughs> but I'm never gonna die. I had just killed my best friend, a man who I have shared so many adventures with. I decided to stop and question for a little while upon why he would have killed me, but nothing pressing comes to mind. So I sit here and wallow in misery when upon my door there comes another knock. I call out for him to enter. The man looks strange with a beard that does not match his hair color, but I don't question it. So I ask him who he is. I am a member of the group that was sent to kill you. I lean back in shock and ask, who are you? I am the Collector. I pull out my sonic gun once more and kill him. I decide it's too dangerous to stay in my office as people know where I am. So I blow out my candle and leave once more. And we're back to the Halloween special. I hope you had as much of a terrifying experience as we have. As you can see, there's something the... wrong with the lights. Hmm. Hey, there's a door of the press involved. 
Yeah. Okay, let's review this episode. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was an excellent episode. It's one of my favorite episodes of Doctor Who of the new series of all time. Uh, it was an excellent episode. I can definitely disagree with you. Really? I do not think this was the best episode of the new series. One of the best, I said. I feel one of the best, but I don't think it's pretty good. I think it's one of the best the series not. I'm irritated at it. Cliffhanger, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not my three most hated words. Two. B. I love to be continued episodes, though. Yes, because they can actually wait. delve deeper into the storyline. Instead of just these one part little blip, and we're done. I love this episode, but we should say spoilers. It's going to be a spoiler fun. Um, so, you got to admit, this episode is really interesting because Kara was the... Bad guy. That was awesome. But did you suspect it? Because I kind of did oh, God, how she yes. acted like she didn't that. right. You know Clara after all these seasons. My god, they killed all the unit. <sighs> no one likes unit. I know, but come on. Wait. How are they gonna do next week? How are they gonna do if the audience? They all the, if they killed all of unit? Yes. Wasn't Martha a part of unit? We probably, yeah. How do you think of Osgood back? I, I think for the first time she was actually developed as a character. You know? Yes, she was. In la her first appearance, you know, Day of the Doctor, I liked it. Liked her a lot, but then it just kind of got a bit boring. Yes. <laughs> boring. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Then she got a bit boring with Canada, but I did feel sorry for when Missy shot her. But can you believe all the units gone? Oh, uh, exactly. And Capaldi, 12th Doctor, is about to be shot by a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, I think it was a it RPG. Was a RPG, I think, because it was uh, attacking, tracking them. Yes. Ah, oh, lovely cliffhanger. Uh, if you watch it and you actually know, let us know in the comments, please. Cavaldi's not going to die, right? Oh, Cavaldi's going to die. <laughs> well, we all know Clara's going to die sometime soon. Yeah, it's been too much foreshadowed. What do you think of this Osgood being a hybrid? I think it's probably the only way they could have kept Osgood on the show. Yes. yes. But a hybrid, again. A scene where she's with the sheriff, what's her name? Yeah, the, um... I don't remember the character. Head girl. It was the truth or consequence. Yes. New Mexico. Well, she was in there, and then she was with this person. Kate. She was with Kate. Yes. And it gave me a Walking Dead vibe. Yes, it did. And the music. I don't. I think pretty much uh, watch her. What do you give this episode? Ten to wrap it up. Nine point nine. Collector. Eight point five. I give it a whopping ten out of ten. I think it was everything I wanted in a Doctor Who because it gave me like a classic unit Pertwee vibes. I really like that. Oh, I just want to toss out one more thing. Yeah. I feel like this episode is doing what Death in Heaven and any Dark unit, Water any was, unit story. was trying to do when they first aired it. I think this basically made the new series unit team does not seem terrible. Yes, I agree. Hmm? I, because I don't think new unit has been that great. I miss the right here. Oh wait, he came back as a Cyberman. Yeah. yeah, we okay. Talk about, it's Moffat logic. Okay. So next week is, of course, the Zygon Inversion, written by Peter Harness and Stephen Moffat. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, just because I want to see how, how they wrap this up. It's going to be interesting. Are you looking forward to it? Well, yes, because I want to see the end of the episode that they denied me this week. Well, I think this has been our Halloween show. I'm sorry. It is, I, what minute are we at now? Like... 400? I thank you for watching this show, if you're watching this. I thank you for watching till the end. Thank you, because we saved the best for last. We yes. finally have the collector. And if you made it to all the way to the end, <laughs> congratulations. Here's two thumbs up. Woo! Six thumbs up. <laughs> if we had. We'll see you next week with our reaction video to... The conclusion of this episode. <laughs> Go, walk it. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week. <laughs> oh, my partner, one last time, as I prepare to say my final farewells, I look to her and say, The time has come for which I must depart to the private eye business. But now I shall pass on the torch to you. Me. I look at her and say yes. It is now time for you to become the pet detective. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes. Oh, so <laughs> you think that's what I need? I'm ready for the job.
fairly well. I turned and walked into the study center, hoping that my partner doesn't ruin my business.